Ramo from Olive Tree. Today, we will be doing the second teaching for the topic for the Jew first with my guest, Sergei Kupcov. Hi, Sergei. Hi, how are you? <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, <clears throat> as I said before, we have a not enough time to cover everything. Yes. We should be trying to go faster and faster. Okay. Um, uh, we finish up on uh, Acts 13 and 14, where is, uh, uh, in short way to explain, Paul said that Paul was doing exactly what Jesus was commanded. I am emphasizing this, commanding him uh, uh, for, to do in Matthew, not him, for the apostles and uh, for the um, followers. Uh, in Matthew 10, mm -hmm. even wiping dust from shake of the, the dust, shake of the dust you mm -hmm. know what? And the Paul was doing exactly the same. We have to think about this very carefully. That Paul uh, and God is faithful. God, he is doing with covenantal people. He has a covenant with Israel. He never had a covenant with uh, uh, pagans and Gentiles. Correct. And that's a simple logic. Mm -hmm. He is sending to. Mm, the last ship of Israel, this diaspora there. Remember? Mm -hmm. That's, and we, when we were reading the last ship of Israel, and uh, Jesus house said, the house of Israel, I've been, uh, I've been sent to the lost ship of house of Israel. Okay? Mm -hmm. There is. Uh, read again, please, from uh, Acts 46 to remind our viewers. All right. We're going to read from the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 46. Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary, necessary, the word of God be spoken to you first, since you rebuilt it and judged yourself unworthy of eternal life. Behold, we are turning to the Gentiles. For the Lord has commanded us, I have placed you as a light for the Gentiles, then you may bring salvation to the end of the earth. And the 48, you want to be continued? Yeah. When the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many has been appointed to eternal life believed. And the word of the Lord was being spread through the whole region. But the Jewish incited the devoted woman of prominence and believing men of the city instigated persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of the district. But they shook off the dust of the feet in protest against them. He went to the Iconium. And the disciples were continually filled with joy with the Holy Spirit. Okay, what we read this. Paul went to spe uh, uh, and bringing up the the good news for the Jewish people. Yes. And uh, some of them uh, accept, some of them uh, just make uh, even a uh, plot against him, and they left. Okay, mm -hmm. he did this. And where Paul, Paul did it exactly what Jesus commanded. Because well, what Paul was doing here, mm -hmm. Paul was making what? We will now going uh, th through this, through the, another scripture. Paul was uh, the beginning of the building the church. That's right. Mm -hmm. What church has to do, what church must do, and when. Okay, and he finished up with this area. Okay. Being rejected from some Jewish people and going only then to the um, Gentiles. Yeah, Gentiles were happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just pick, wiped shake dust off, yeah, shake and shake off. And uh, chapter 14, please. And in chapter 14, we have the first uh, verse. In Iconium, they entered the synagogue of the Jews together. And spoke in such a manner that a large number of people believed, both of Jews and of okay, Greeks. Okay, good. The two moments. He's always doing, always doing on Saturday, mm -hmm. going to synagogues. Yep. Prove me wrong if it's not a Saturday. Just study, and there is only Saturday he goes to synagogue. Secondly, he is again in different area. He goes Iconium. to the Jew Fair. first. All right, some maybe uh, all the time all, on the modern day we're listening, we're hearing. There's a lot of um, things uh, which is are totally wrong and unbiblical. How people teach, what people teach about, you know. And I would like to um, 
they can be say, uh, saying that is a historical event yeah, in yeah. Uh, approach to this as because a historical it's a frame of time. yeah that is the only apostle was doing this this is a this this and a this and the Jesus cancels a Shabbat mm -hmm. which is absolutely unbiiblical because Jesus even couldn't cancel a Shabbat because She's it was established by father yes. and father never yes. canceled the Shabbat mm -hmm. Jesus was doing only what father was saying you okay. know and the uh, way we can prove and everything it's very very easy. And secondly, we're talking about this, is that just uh, for that time, historical and you preach today to the Jewish and uh, leave those Jewish, those uh, stubborn people and go to the Gentiles, is that is uh, what church predestined to do? Wrong. Okay. Wrong. And I ask you, prove me wrong. Because this Bible proves itself. Paul did it from word to word. Amen. Paul did it in word to word. Okay. And there is a people then can say, oh, Jesus was the end of the law. How Jesus can be end of the law? Even translation in Greek means it's a goal and purpose of yes. the, yeah? of the law. Yes. How, Jesus itself, uh, uh, law means Torah. Amen. Law means word. Jesus itself, himself is a word. How he can be end of himself? Yes. Yeah. That's right. And interesting. If we read indirectly, let's go Genesis, Genesis uh, 12, 2 mm -hmm. and 3. Okay, the uh, book of Genesis, chapter 12, and the verse 2 and 3. And I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and I make your name great, and so you shall be a blessing, and I will bless those who bless you. And the one who curse you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. What? And the families of the earth will be blessed. That's right. Um, can I ask you a question? It's been fulfilled? Of course, it's Messiah came. And? And now everyone uh, can be entering to the salvation. That's right. The whole family, the all nations, the everyone. Uh-huh. Why? It's still going on. Hmm. It's fulfilled. That's right. That's right. And we're talking sometimes uh, things uh, and we're not hearing ourselves. Oh, it's, uh, the law was fulfilled. That this was fulfilled. That was uh, done. That was uh, already um, yeah, yeah, the ended sure up. Done. The, uh, the, that's right. Done, yes. yeah, just like uh, first of all, there is two moments. You know, first of all, I, I would I would point you like like a Jesus. Uh, no, no, no. God like a, uh, looks like a, he had a um, kind of carnal covenant with Jewish people, with Israel, mm -hmm. and spiritual with church. You know, and I, I, will, I will tell you a couple of things. Like, um, they're trying to explain to us that everything was transmitted in carnal, by carnal means. Okay. Uh, what I'm talking about, uh, descent from patriarch to, 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 yes, to one yeah. another, you know. <clears throat> Prosperity, land, even uh, posterity. You yes. know, everything just uh, just in real material stuff. Okay. And the church is a spiritual stuff. Yeah, we would, and that, that is very interesting why we have a, such a, uh, a rich pastors and everything, you know, <laughs> of this, if it's spiritual. It's content spiritual because uh, when we think by uh, spiritual thing, it's, a, it's a just um, focused on spiritual. That is a f a forgiveness of sin mm -hmm. and salvation. Mm -hmm. That's right. It there is looks like uh, like uh, I would like to put you into this. Some of people think, okay, it's a for Jewish or it's completed, and then 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 then. Looks and, like the God uh, yeah, purposely and, divided. That's you know? right. In Roman one sixteen, Paul Paul saying about uh, saying everything in present tense. I am not ashamed. Mm -hmm. And for the Jew first, this and this and then. There's a one uh, proof. And secondly, look like a sculpture. God is sculpture. Mm -hmm. He's uh, doing in clay mm -hmm. some kingdom, you know, and uh, before he put it in marmor, marble, uh, ma ma marble. Sorry, yeah, he put it in. He did it. Uh huh. Everything okay. Put it aside. Okay. Forgetting about and even crushing and throwing away. I'm doing this uh, church from marble. Okay. God is faithful. God. Amen. He yesterday, today. And forever. And forever. Yeah, he's faithful, God. In the this same. case, if we were preaching this gospel, he is not a faithful. That's right. That's Secondly, right. Well, about fulfilled. My teacher, mm, 
uh, and all, many of my teachers, uh, they were great uh, people of God, they, they were saying and uh, talking about that that's very easy to go to, um, to dictionary. What does that mean, fulfill? Mm -hmm. First meaning, to bring into actuality okay. or effect. Promises, law, or actuality, or uh, effect. Promises, okay. law, or whatever. Second, to carry out in order, you know, kind of in order, or for example. Third, to measure up to. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And, fourth one, to bring to an end complete. Okay. Okay, I would like to ask you. I understand the uh, logic of understanding if, if, if uh, to bring into actuality and effect promises and law. All right. But I cannot understand how I can come uh, uh, to end up the law if it's written or commandments. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Interesting. Yeah, you, you were thinking That's because very, you know I. I just, I just, uh, somebody, somebody, somebody uh, issue the law. Mm -hmm. I can fulfill. I can obey, come, uh, obey you the can law, obey it, but I cannot end it. Yeah. Cancel it yeah, to end it up. You know. No That's yeah. right. It, I can show example. An mm -hmm. example. Actually, okay. Fulfilled. What is it? I, re, I, I will read it for you. Fulfilled. And I would like to for people to remember and study this. And they're trying to hear what we're saying, sometimes cliche of the, from other people, you know, and just, just, just saying, saying, not, not understanding what we're saying. The promise is fulfilled. Does not mean the promise come to the end, and is is replaced by actual thing promised. Mm -hmm. It means the promise itself is now whole, complete, and unambiguous. And already mighty. That's right. Fulfill it enrich with power. Okay. Experience. All right. If some guys going to Everest, okay. Why no? Why many goes after them? That's right. <laughs> yeah. If you in Jesus, you will go the way of the Jesus. Amen. That's right. You will do exactly what Jesus did. Paul doing exactly what Jesus was what he commanded, doing. Yes. Yeah, command. And he is doing his commandments. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not discussing what that. Shake off the. F yeah. Going. That is a commandment, not historical event. This is a commandment. And if we. Have a, some uh, preacher saying, we don't need the Shabbat, Shabbat was canceled. I would like to challenge you why it's on a Shabbat and why for the Jewish first is written together. Mm -hmm. You know, because God, and well, you know what? Um, God is m making through the pole foundation, building foundation of the church when church must. Yes. Do the things where, with what, and everything. Like hold, the hold the strategy. All the picture, oh, what yes. church must to do. All regulations. You know? mm -hmm. And look at this. Can you open for me, uh, for me, uh, Corinthians? Where is Corinthians? First Corinthians? Okay, I'm going to read from First Corinthians. It's New Testament, chapter 3, from verse 4 to 11. For when one says, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos. Are you not merman? When then is Apollos? When did what is Paul? Servants through the whom you believed, even as the Lord gave opportunity to each one. I planted, Apollos watered it, but God was cursing the growth. So when neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but God who cares and grow. Now he who plants, he who waters a one but each will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. According of grace of God, which was given to me like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation and another is building on it. But each man must be careful 
how he builds on it. For no man can lay a foundation others than one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Interesting. Christ is a uh, foundation. foundation. And Paul making this foundation. Yes. Yeah? Doing yes. this. Paul doing in Acts 13, 14 exactly what Jesus is doing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Showing, showing how, when, and then, 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 all this stuff. Interesting. Yesterday or a couple of days ago, I was watching uh, Channel 12. Some, the, the pastor was preaching from uh, Faith Christian Center, uh, First Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And everything interesting. He finished up uh, one of the thought that Christ is a foundation. And all the, he was talking and teaching that so there was a local uh, meaning of the things. Not to build a kingdom. Man thought, okay, I'm doing mm -hmm. this, you're helping me in this. All together we're preaching in Christ's foundation. How we can teach if we're not teaching what is that foundation? If we don't know what's If we're Christ's not foundation. doing even how Paul did it yes. for us yeah. as an example. Mm -hmm. You know, completing, doing, fulfilling what Jesus said to him, to the Jew first. Mm -hmm. You know, and there is not historical things because there is a commandment. Okay. That is a commandment. And the commandments goes and goes again and again and again. In Christ, if we in Christ, we're doing that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Christ, can, Christ cannot counsel himself what he gave to oh, Paul to do. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, interesting. Uh, or there is a wrong doctrine and, uh, or teaching. Or we do not want to do this purposely. Oh, yeah. Or we avoiding this to do this. That's right. Because it's not comfortable for us. Why? Because the first church we're reading, there was a Jew and Gentiles were together. together. That's together. right. There is nothing uh, where we can uh, change. And I can see there is a lake. A lake. Uh, we, we, we're preaching locally. For example, for mm -hmm. my my own kingdom, for example, in Sikong, I'm preaching what how to do the things, and I'm proclaiming this as I'm building kingdom. Not at all. Because if we're laying foundation, uh, Jesus which Christ. is a Christ, Christ is a Jewish Messiah. And from the beginning, nobody counseled to preach because he said, you have to preach first for the Jews. For the Jews, yeah. And you can go after this if they reject you or pre accept Shake it your feet, yeah. to to the uh, Gentiles also, you know? It looks like if the, to, to the, to the gospel, we have interesting gospel. There was an alarm, da, 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 and God said, oh, come to the banquet, come to the dinner, you know? And the Christian even, even washed themselves, baptize, baptism, baptism, they came, and there is a Jewish people sitting, eating on the banquet, and the Gentiles. And some of Jewish people don't li didn't like the Gentiles came. We 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 read the uh, oh, that's yeah, in the absolutely. gospel, you know. Yes. And suddenly, and some of uh, Jewish people said, "Oh, I, I, it's not the meal I expect to eat." Of mm. We're talking about feeding. We're yes, talking yeah. about uh, we're talking about right now about uh, gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, it's not what uh, there is not a kosher enough there because there's a Gentile there, there, there. And some of them left. Okay. Some of them stay. They accept. That's the church. Some of the um, Gentiles left with the Jewish we're reading. Yes. You yeah. know, and some of them uh, um, um, stay uh, with this dinner. And what was going on? And Jewish people still were saying, okay, hey, uh, and the Gentiles begin to do what? I need to, well, okay, I don't like, I don't, don't get to this kosher food or something. I need to bring my spices. I need to do yeah. eventually. I want to bring what I get used to it. That's right. My national cultural stuff yes. or whatever, you know, and they were screaming at that time. It's for all. It's for all, mm -hmm. not just for you, but Jewish were because they chosen teaching. No, no, no. You cannot bring this stuff because it's not Because kosher. we have a water. We have a covenant. That's right. We know that's the right. foundation. That's right. I don't want to be on Saturday. I want to be on Monday, you know, and there is a look at this. Eventually, on the uh, line, it's fall, they kick out Jewish people from yes, the dinner. Yeah. And they start to eat their own dinner. Mm -hmm. they, invite, they invite their own ch 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 uh, people who are making the food. 
Yes. They brought this whatever they want to bring, you know, and there is a nothing of originality. And they start creating, you know, kind of... They're on the end, yeah. they get overfunded, they were confused, they were poisoned, they were uh, a lot of... Oh, I, I need my own chief, I need my own chef, I need one, my own chief, we I need, need my own chef. We need own denomination. That's right, they made it all the stuff, and the they, most important thing, they throw out the originality. If, you, if you're talking about foundation of the Christ, you will see, go to the Jew first. Mm -hmm. And Paul did it on Saturday. Yes. Go to the Jew first, first of all. Well, but first it's not all, easy all because this. the Jews will kick us out. So, so, it mean, what did that mean? First, first apostle, apostle did it, Jesus did it, first Christian did it. Why we're we not doing this? It's right. Because we have a different dinner. We have a different food. We don't want. We're saying we will try to invite for the dinner and now Jewish people to eat the food we create. That's right. Not the original mm -hmm. food. And we'll, oh, we're so good. We have a Jewish people. And even some of guys who are writing uh, books, bestsellers like, like uh, uh, Blood Moons or whatever, they say, Do you don't need to preach to Jewish people. It's a heresy. That's the only way of the church to go first, preach For to the, the Jews, Jews and if they reject you, to go to preach to, to the Gentiles. Gentiles. Do you know it's interesting, modern church, you know, they created the, some own strategy, the vision. It can go to preach, oh, the, every nationality, every nation, but forgetting about for the Jew first. That's but right. But forgetting about That's it. About right. this, this, you know, the strategy, this the foundation. Because there of is a, like, a, like I told you before, there is a, like a sculptor made and uh, yeah. uh, things from uh, clay and they throw it away. We yes. don't need it. We just yes. spi so spiritual. We're so spiritual and we're doing our own stuff. Yes. We're not making. And the church today, can I say? Jesus said, I do not know you. You've been casting out the demons. You did it. By your name, we're casting Because you yeah. didn't know the Father's will. Yes. You do not know the foundation because you have no foundation. Yes. You have to come back to the roots. Yes. You have to go back to the roots. You have to be thankful yes. what Jewish people have done, even with mistakes. Yes. Because there is one God's way, A to Z. If we included all in it. Amen. If we have to make our church different, it's right. powerful, where is the gospel works amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen, 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 amen. Thank you so much for watching us. And please welcome, welcome to our Shabbat service every Saturday, 11 o'clock in the morning and in Boston on Beacon Street. You can call us or you can write us. Please check our YouTube, watch our programs. Shalom.